Sunday's week seven NFL action is in the books. Let's do what we do and hand out some awards. We start with the best job of not giving up, and that goes to Seattle Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf. After a Russell Wilson interception near the goal line, Metcalf chased down a Cardinals defender 90 yards by running over 22 miles an hour. That's fast, people. And four plays later, after he took him down for the tackle, the Cardinals gave the ball over on down. Sure, Arizona ended up winning in overtime, but hey, that was one heck of a play from Metcalf. Next, we look at the worst job of looking like the New England Patriots, and that goes to the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick suffered his worst home defeat with the Patriots on Sunday, losing to San Francisco 33-6. Ouch. The Patriots now have a three-game losing streak, which is something they haven't done since 2002. While Tom Brady is having fun in Tampa, looking at a 5-2 record, Bill Belichick's team is in trouble. Cam Newton was benched towards the end of the game, and his offense has been a wreck for the last three weeks. This does not look like the dynasty that we know. And finally, we look at the worst job of scoring a touchdown, and that goes to Todd Gurley. The Atlanta Falcons didn't need a touchdown in the final minute. All they needed to do was not score a touchdown. They kick a field goal, and the game would have been theirs. But instead, Gurley had a brain fart and tried to stop just before the goal line, but he had crossed the goal line, which gave the Falcons a touchdown. It also gave the Lions time to drive down the field. And all they needed was a touchdown to win the game. And what happened? Of course, the Lions scored a touchdown won the game, and the Atlanta Falcons found a new, embarrassing way to lose. My goodness, I didn't think that was possible.